In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. The text for our Mass today on this Good Shepherd Sunday presents us with one of the most illuminating and familiar images of who Christ is and how he redeems us from our sins. The Good Shepherd, the Shepherd who loves his sheep so much that he lays down his life for them. It's a picture of our blessed Lord that has appealed to the Christian imagination uh, from antiquity. Archaeologists tell us that really the very first depictions of our Lord in the catacombs, you won't find him on, on the cross, but you'll find him depicted as the Good Shepherd. And in modern times, of course, we have uh, particularly Victorians love this image. Virtually every restored or, or new Victorian church will find a uh, stained glass window depicting our Lord as the, the Good Shepherd. It's an image that's particularly associated with the Gospel of St. John, and not just the Gospel, his other writings, the, the Apocalypse as well. Because th there is another side to this coin, if you like. Christ is the Good Shepherd, but it's particularly St. John who reminds us that he's also uh, the Lamb. When John the Baptist sees Christ on the banks of the River Jordan, he says those words that we hear at every Mass you'll hear today. Etch on your stay, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. That image of Christ as the Passover lamb, the sacrifice atoning for our sins, is also found in the book of the Apocalypse from the same Saint John who gave us the Gospel today, describing a revelation that he received from the Holy Spirit about the end of time and the life of the world to come. And the focus of that revelation is the lamb who was slain and now sits on the throne, surrounded by those whom he redeemed with his precious blood. So those two images, Christ the Good Shepherd, Christ the Lamb of Sacrifice, convey two complementary aspects of Christ's role in our salvation. And they're presented to us by the readings and charts of our Mass today. The first picture makes clear that Christ looks after us. The second makes clear that the principal way he does this is by dying for us. As St. Peter says in today's epistle, so on the cross his own body took the weight of our sins. Christ shepherd and Christ the lamb. Worthy is the lamb that was slain. St. John tells us that. Our redemption, our friendship with God were all bought at a price the passion and death of our Lord Jesus Christ. The fact that the sacrifice of Christ had the power to redeem us is not due to those who condemned him to death. It's due to the justice and mercy of the Father, whose will it was to bring about the salvation of humankind in this and no other way. The truths of our Catholic faith should never lose their capacity to move us and to shock us even. Why did the Father choose the sacrificial death of his only Son as the means of our salvation? Was it not cruel to send his Son to the cross? Excessive severity on God's part. These questions and others like them have surely crossed our minds from time to time, but the truth of the matter is very different. Our redemption was not brought about by cruelty, or severity on God's part. On the contrary, the Father's act in offering his Son is the crowning proof of his love for us. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life, John 3, 16. Or again, from the epistle of John. In this is love, that we loved God not that we love God, right, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the expiation of our sins. It was the Father's will 
that there must be an infinite sacrifice to make good the infinite harm done by the sins of mankind. And he himself provided the sacrifice in giving us his son. That sacrificial death is the mystery at the heart of our religion. And that is why it's at the heart of every holy mass. And because it is a mystery, we can never fully grasp its entire meaning. In faith, we know that the Good Shepherd has given his life for his sheep. Like one of his own lambs, he was led to the slaughter for our salvation. And it is because of Christ's saving death and glorious resurrection that we can be confident in the care of the Good Shepherd for each one of us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.